God of the Church. This is your opportunity to receive help, direction, and guidance regarding tough topics that affect us all. Join us as we bring clarity to life's most challenging subject matter with the goal of healing, educating, and inspiring. So without further ado, it's time for Let's Talk, Real Talk with Dr. Gigi. Well, hello, hello. It is time for Let's Talk, Real Talk with none other than your girl, Dr. Gigi. And we have with us today a very special guest, my new friend, my husband's new friend, um, Mr. Frankie. He is Frankie on um, Faces with Frankie. He is an artist. I am super excited to have you with us. Thank you for joining Let's Talk, Real Talk, Mr. Frankie. Well, thanks for having me, Gwen. Oh, you are more than welcome. We want to get right into it. Um, I want you to jump right in and tell us a little bit about yourself. Today's show is talking about upcoming artists, and you are an artist. Um, you are a different kind of artist. We've had um, a couple of weeks ago, we had musical artists, we had entrepreneurs, we had authors. Um, so now we are still talking about different type of artists and you are actual artist. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I was uh, born and raised in uh, Orlando, Florida. And uh, I mean, since I was a little kid, I've always been drawing. I just, just gravitated towards it. And I eventually uh, was going to end. I knew I was going to be an artist of some stripe just growing up. But uh, eventually when I went to school, I studied at the University of Central Florida, where I majored in uh, emerging media and particularly studying uh, character animation. Um, and since when I graduated, I bounced around a little bit doing the odd jobs, motion graphics, graphic design, until I kind of just sort of stumbled uh, into the art form of caricatures, where there was a position uh, at the Florida Aquarium. And I figured, ah, why not? Let's give it a shot. And uh, now I currently, I work over at the uh, Florida Aquarium in Tampa, Florida, where I do caricatures. I also uh, will do gigs and stuff where I'll go out for events and parties uh, to do it, as well as people who reach out to me uh, for commission work as well. So, yeah, and uh, I'm just sort of, you know, at this point, I'm, I just go through my day to day, I guess, I don't know, living the dream, I suppose. <laughs> That is awesome. I am so impressed with your work because I, I'm, I think I'm a pretty smart young lady, a pretty smart young cookie. My husband tell me I'm real smart. He say, I don't know anybody can do as much as you do, baby. But <laughs> when it comes to art, to drawing, that is the only class that I failed. That is the only <laughs> class I ever failed. And, and to this day, I'm upset about it because I just, um, like I say, my son, he loves, he's um, multi-talented. He can draw, he write music, he he does rapping, he does it all. But the, the thing I say, oh, he took all of my artistic skills and put them in my son and took the children. So for you to say you've been drawing since you was a child, I'm just amazed. That's never been anything that I wanted to do. So anyone that can just sit down and sketch or draw you while you're sitting there or moving, I'm amazed at what you do. I am truly amazed at what you do. Now, you said that you started at an early age. What motivated you to to, to start drawing? Um, well, I would say that I always just kind of uh, was fascinated with like cartoons as a kid. Um, and since that would kind of draw my attention a lot, uh, I just sort of gravitated towards them. And that really kind of got me inspired to start drawing, like drawing characters I would see on TV. and uh, I would also say um, to an extent, like my parents, um, my parents were both artistic as well. Uh, my dad, uh, he, at one point he was working in the gallery scene where he would, uh, he was a, uh, like a surrealist. Um, and uh, my mother also worked as a graphic designer as well during her time when she was working. So I guess uh, maybe it's that classic, the, maybe the apple didn't fall too far from the tree sort of a thing. But uh, I just, I don't know, I, I always just, since I was a little kid, as far as back as I, as I can remember, I just 
I don't know. It was just a fascinating thing to me always to draw and kind of develop that reputation to growing up in school where you're like, you kind of get labeled the the class artist and all that. So, yeah, I can, I can relate with that because um, a lot of times my son, his homework would have something drawn on it. I don't <laughs> care what type of work uh, assignment he had. It was some type of sketching done on the homework that had to be turned in. And one <laughs> of the teachers I can remember, she said, this was not the assignment. It is great artwork, but he gets no credit. He didn't do any of the assignment. He just drew the whole time. And I'm like, okay, so obviously this skill is identified at an early age. So it was never identified in me. I didn't like to draw. So I guess that apple, I don't know where that apple fell for him at because I do, <laughs> <laughs> I do not draw. I don't know if his dad loved to draw, but um, I know I can't draw. So that is amazing. So de yeah, definitely I can relate to that being a young, um, starting at an early age. Um, now, what skill sets? I know you said you went to school before coming to the Florida Aquarium, to the Tampa Aquarium. Where, what, what schooling, and how long did you have to go to school? Um, well, I, uh, as far as like school, I mean, I study. I was a bachelor of fine arts, so it was a four-year program. But one eventually, I had to apply specifically to their character animation program, which is a lot more smaller uh, class size, where I was basically studying with the same group of like 30 students for like two years as we kind of worked together, like making a short film and everything, a fully animated short film from concept to completion. Um, but for, while there, I mean, you're you're not only are you learning like to actually use software for 3D animation and, and modeling and rigging and all that fun stuff i mean you're also they're stressing the importance of drawing skills so i mean you're taking figure drawing classes and all of that so i mean it's it you know that's that also plays a key role in just when you're designing characters and understanding movement and all that so it it, it all kind of overlaps a little bit i suppose um so it was on you you had to draw on the paper and on the computer that always, I always wondered if you had to sketch out what you was drawing on paper first before putting it on the computer. Well, that certainly comes into play when you're doing 2D animation, for sure. Okay. And some people even before they get into like, you know, actually uh, animating like a 3D model, they might even do like pencil tests where they're just doing like just doing hand drawn frames to kind of get a sense of motion, getting the timing down right before then they actually start, you know, using that as a basis to actually do 3D animations with actual like, it's almost like controlling like little puppets almost, but just through uh, computer software. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, there's that kind of like fundamentals that I had growing up, but as far as like the skill sets, maybe just for caricatures themselves, it's kind of a little bit of a niche art form where um whereas you know some people you have your studio artists that they sit and they take their time and they they work diligently to you know chisel away and make their masterpiece but with caricatures it's a lot more fast pace and you got to move quickly um and i would say like the key skills at my job doing that um you have to have good artwork obviously or else no one's going to be interested or want to buy it from you and you know that kind of stuff involves you know your just your speed of drawing, like paying attention to line weight and actually getting the likeness of the person you're drawing. Um, but it also has some other aspects too that you don't often think about maybe, and that's good salesmanship because you're very much uh, having to engage with people. Um, and that can be tricky sometimes because a lot of artists tend to be introverts. Um, <laughs> and so that was something I kind of had to learn myself on the job is learning to engage people, to convince people like, hey, Let's sit down and get drawn. This is fun. Like, you know, you this is going to be the greatest experience of your whole life. You just don't know it yet kind of a thing. And then finally, the third thing I'd say you need is you got to have good people skills. Because um, as, as far as caricature artists are concerned, they're, we're just as much artists as we are entertainers, too. So, I mean, when you're sitting down getting drawn, it was, I mean, it was the same case when uh, you sat down with uh, your husband, Frederick, came in. And, I mean, we were just chatting it up, having a good conversation. I mean, it helps helps makes makes it go by a lot easier than just sitting in, in awkward silence as I draw you, you know. So it's a, there's a kind of a lot of other social skills involved too with the job. Wow. I never knew it required so many skill sets. Um, 
to do that. I thought you just had to be able to draw. I know my niece is artistic as well. Um, she can just draw. Um, she draws on the sidewalk. She draws on the wall. She comes <laughs> up. She draws draws on my sofa. But <clears throat> you said for two years, um, and she just she looks at like sort of like what you do, which gave me the idea that oh, she might be able to do that one day. But then I heard you say that it's different from the studio artwork versus um, when you're doing the character artwork. Um, so I never knew that it required so much um, skill sets to be able to do this. I thought you all just picked up your pen and went to drawing. So I have learned a lot about this. Uh, I am still fascinated uh, by the fact that you were able to draw us in such a quick time. Like you said, it took um, skill sets to be able to just not just sit there and we you draw us while because we were moving my husband was up talking and <laughs> you still but you had that image the initial image in your head of what you wanted us to look like so we're going to take a real quick commercial break you all and then we're going to come back and find out some more from mr frankie but this is mr frankie um faces with frankie um, you can get him on Instagram. You can get him on Facebook. Um, we're going to put his information up where you all will be able to contact him. Um, like he said, he will come to parties. And we're going to go more into that after we come back from the commercial break. But let's go to this real quick commercial break. And after the commercial break, we're going to take a skit. Um, we got a quick video to show you uh, when he started with us <laughs> and the time of when he ended with us. So we're going to look at those videos also. So let's take a real quick commercial break and then we'll be right back. With Let's Talk Real Talk, we have on the scene none other than Frankie himself. Um, it is Faces with Faces with Frankie. He is doing an amazing sculpture, cartoon character of my husband and myself. He said we can't peek you all, so I don't know what we're gonna look like, but he's drawing us while we are videoing. He is he is awesome because he's able to draw and video at the same time. He's a parallel processor or what we call that a multitasker. Anyway, it's faces with Frankie. So if you're in Tampa, I want you to come on down and get your face painted by Frankie. So we're gonna Aquarian. see at the Aquarian. Yes, he's at the Aquarian. Thank you, babe, for letting us know exactly where he's at. So this is what we look like. This is what we look like. There we are, there we are. Yeah, get us in there, baby. We in there? Yeah, we in there, we in there. We in there. So that's what we looking like right now. So this is what Frankie is um, getting ready to draw. He is getting ready to draw us, or he's drawing us now, I he's should say. Finished. He's almost finished. So we're well, gonna see, we, we, he's yeah, getting the color now. So we're gonna be the back. Part, we, we gonna come back. Okay, you all, they say we are ready. Frankie Frankie's is ready. Here. Frankie, say he's ready. You ready to see we this? are about to see this. We are ready to see this. It's the Discovery Bill. And go. here we there go. go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sucky, sucky, y'all. Y'all see our new cartoon character? Look at Frankie. That is Faces by Frankie. Faces with Frankie. Faces with Frankie. And he is on Facebook at Faces with Frankie. Come on. That is amazing. You did an awesome hey, job. Done without you do good job. This oh, is what yeah, we look that's like. It. Oh, my God, okay. That's us in the real. Now let's look back. That's us on our cartoon character. Frankie did good. He even got my red on the top. So thank you. All right, we are back. We are back. Uh, wasn't that video amazing? 
I'm telling you all, when he started, when we sat down, it was like mind blowing. I know for me doing my puzzle book, it took a lot of creativity to get the puzzles and to line the letters up. So when I look back at the video and watch from when you started and you all going to see the end result and see how long it took him to really draw us, which I think was less than 15 minutes, which was real quick, which was one of the skill sets that you said you had to be able to be um, sociable and you had to be quick um, in your skill set. So I know it took you two years to learn, you said, to go to school for your for your craft. How long did it take you to get your time frame down to learn how and what you needed to do to be able to sketch so fast once you get a customer over to you? Well, I would say uh, it takes, well, it takes experience. I mean, it's something where over time, like, you, you have to kind of gain more confidence in what you're doing, um, and that just in terms of just like your line work and everything and just kind of visualizing what you want on the page. And, you know, like, I'll be honest, like first year doing it, it's like, I look, I like, I still have pictures of like some of the ones I did from like my first year. And I look back at, it, I'm like, Oh my God, I can't believe people bought this. Like it, it just, it's like, I was, I was just so hesitant in a lot of things I was doing, but you do it more, you get more comfortable, more confident and like, and, bo and more bold in your choices too. And it really starts to pay off. And it's, uh, I, I often tell some of my other artists that I hire on and that also work with me that you just, you have to put in the work, you have to put in the practice. And uh, even to the point where it's like, hey, sometimes it's just pure and simple. Why am I not doing this so fast? Well, time yourself, like give yourself five minutes to draw a face, just pull it up on the internet, draw it. And if you don't do it in five minutes, do it again until you get it in five minutes. So it's, but it, it's just at the core of it. It's mostly just, you got to put in the work and experience to get there. I love that. What you just said, we have to put in the work. And I think that's with life as a whole, anything that you're pursuing after you got to put in the work. I love that. I love that. Um, now everyone wants to know, um, now that you've put in the work, I want to know, we want to, this is let's talk real talk. Mm -hmm. Do you, ever um have you had the opportunity to do anyone famous um i know you can sketch it from um their, their characters on tv and on the computer but have you actually met um anyone famous you're famous now you met me i'm famous so you got to do me <laughs> i know besides me and dr Gibbs, of course know? of course <laughs> well i don't think i've drawn anyone like famous that i'm aware of um if i have they completely slipped past my notice and I never knew maybe who knows maybe I've drawn like a, a B list or C list celebrity at some point in my life but uh I mean the only uh I mean I've drawn celebrities for my job just as to like put up like as work samples and stuff mm -hmm. so people can kind of get an idea of what they're getting themselves into and be like oh that, that's you know that's the rock I know him oh he'll draw me that'll be cool um I'd say maybe the closest thing I've ever gotten to drawing anyone famous would maybe be like the occasional like influencer or like content creator that like after the fact I found out had like hundreds of thousands of followers and I'm like oh wow I, I mean of course I was none the wiser but that's always kind of interesting like wow what are the odds they were just walking these these people that just have massive followings just taking a day off at the aquarium and just happen to get drawn by me you know it's but uh Maybe someday, like an actual, like, you know, major celebrity. But unfortunately, a lot of the times when I'm working at the aquarium, like the really celebrities, they can't be walking through that place. They'll get swarmed with people. People want to take pictures. So it's like, but who knows? Maybe someday I always hold out hope. I mean, at least I got you under my belt. That was Yes, good. yes, <laughs> yes. I was going to say, I was waiting on you to come back. Kyle. I was about to let's talk real talk. What are you talking about? He got me and you, me and Dr. Gibbs on this belt, you know? So, true. yeah, you know, the um, the Bible tells us the spies, not small beginnings. So I'm just amazed because it's funny. I don't know if you have the picture um, close by, but I, I did take a picture of it. And if not, um, up that you did draw of the rock. Um, and that's hmm. what my husband and I was like, oh, the rock, he drew, you know, like it was like celebrities that was on your, your backdrop. And I was like, that's a really good sketch of the rock right there that, that you did. And so, um, I was 
very intrigued as to how could you um, be able to draw um, a celebrity like that in the opening as as we were. So um, that led me to my next question. Did you have that picture handy? If not, we can get it and get it inserted. Um, I'll make I, sure I get it to you. Don't worry. Okay, then. Okay, we'll get it inserted because I want you all to see it. It is a beautiful picture that where he started off using as his prop. But it took work. It didn't just take, yeah, that got the customers there, as you said. But then when they got, when they sat down, um, then you had to put in the work and do the time and then do the actual drawing. So um, we are not done yet, but we're getting close to our time. I want to ask a couple of more questions. You did mm -hmm. say earlier that you would come to parties. Um, you would do parties, private parties. Um, um, face paintings. So how does that work for you as doing private parties? What is your distance range? Um, I know you're in Tampa right now. So how far are you willing to drive for private parties? Uh, so I, I generally try to, you know, consider anything that's in like the central Florida area. So, you know, I mean, even as far over as Orlando, you know, it's like, I'm, if, uh, if people are interested and I have the availability, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always, uh, I'm always interested in anyone reaching out to want to do like parties, weddings, you know, office events or stuff like that. Um, and and even then, if even if it's like not for an event, you know, people, you can reach out to me, you, can, you know, send me pictures of someone maybe that you're wanting to get drawn as a commission. And, uh, you know, they, they make great gifts and stuff. So, I mean, it's uh, I. Uh, yeah, I try to, you know, I'd say like once we start having to go over like a hundred miles somewhere, then it's like, we might have to be like, Hey, is there a chance you could just cover the gas money or something a little bit? But you know, that's usually, that's a case by case basis. I just talk with people. And that's good that you said what you said, that you could send a picture. So even if you, if they're out of your range, if they're not in the central Florida area, you can send your picture to um, faces with Frankie and he can re in, in reiterate it or redraw it or what would the word be that you would do i would i guess i would just uh, use it as reference to help make create a caricature of that person oh, okay create a character from whatever picture that you would want so um because that's what i was looking at i was like i need to get him to do me a character for let's talk real talk but I don't know how I want to look if I want to be serious, <laughs> if I want, you know, all playful or what. But so I was going to send you a picture. So I was like, I don't want to have to drive all the way back to Tampa because I don't want to just take up all of this time um, when I know that that's another um, that when you're in the aquarium, that's for the aquarium. Um, but I do want to send other pictures to you to create new characters. Um, and not only that, but now that opens up the doorway for you to have the ability to not only do characters, but to do design labels. So do you do, like, I know my son does drawing for records or not too many people buy records anymore, but for like CD covers or music covers, mm -hmm. do you, uh, are you open to doing that as well? I mean, I've, I've had experience in the past where I've, I've done work, graphic design work, whether it be for like sports and apparel and stuff like that. I don't tend to focus on it as much these days but uh i mean it's it's something that's a tool in my toolbox i guess when i when i need to so i mean it's it's kind of like yeah, you know, just kind of handle it case by case if people want to i'll be like well let me let me give you a rough idea of like what to expect so okay and before we get red time goes by so fast i don't know where the mm -hmm. time but it's already you know had the show is already over and i feel like <laughs> we just need to keep talking because i'm just fascinated um where we get our business cards done, they do t-shirts. So do you do t-shirts, designs on t-shirts or anything, or you just fit, um, draw specifically um, for? Well, like 99% 99, 99 of the time I'm doing uh, just just caricatures, but I, you know, I've, I've designed t-shirts before and stuff. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's not something I normally just kind of advertise that I would do, but like they usually a lot of graphic designers will kind of uh, advertise that for themselves. But I mean, it's something where it's like, you know, if you were like, you really wanted my take on something, it's like, well, I mean, well, we can talk about it. You know, I'm not like it's, it's, you know, it can be on the table, you know? Okay. Well, I truly thank you. We're going to get ready to take another commercial break. 
Well, no, we're not going to take another commercial break. We <laughs> want you all to see the final video. We're going to let you all see the final video of our end results. And then um, after the video, I want you, Mr. Frankie, um, to tell us what advice would you leave for someone that is planning to or trying to get into the field of artistry work. So we'll be right back. And then um, we're going to get final closing remarks from Mr. Frankie. Okay. All right, you all, we are back. We are back. We are back. That was the video. That was the final product. And guess what I have right here? The real <laughs> picture. I have the actual picture. I didn't want to put it up or let anyone see it until <laughs> after we had finished our um, interview with Mr. Frankie because I did want you all to see how fast. When he said you had to be fast, I didn't expect him to be able to draw us and sketch us. I mean, he even got my hair, y'all. Y'all see my hair? Um, I had a different hairstyle. I told him, I said, I got a different hairstyle today. Next time you might see it might be long and blonde. So, um, <clears throat> but Mr. Gibbs is down to the T. I love this picture. <laughs> I'm going to be putting it up in the frame now um, so that we can um, get it up and everybody can see and getting it posted. But I love our picture. This is Faces with Frankie. He did a phenomenal job. Again, y'all saw it on the video. So go ahead and tell us and close us out mm -hmm. with any final remarks that you would like to leave with us today, Mr. Frankie. Well, sure. Um, in regards to, yeah, like advice for upcoming like artists, uh, I, I do occasionally when I'm working, I get like artists or like young kids who are kind of into art and they get when they get sit down and draw get drawn by me. And I always tell them that, you know, you just have to keep practicing. I mean, I know it's it's very cliche, um, kind of a boring answer, but it's the truth. I mean, it's you, you keep at it. And most importantly, you have to keep challenging yourself. Um, if you like, for instance, let's say you hate drawing hands. You should absolutely be drawing hands like over and over again until you are feeling more confident in them and you're not shying away from them. You 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 should be looking for the things that you dread almost and you're shying away from. And that's the stuff you really got to focus on because, um, I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, perspective, line weight, dynamic poses, coloring, different types of surfaces, whatever. You have to shore up your weaknesses and that's how you grow. And uh, the last thing I would say is to not necessarily feel pressured to make a career out of art necessarily. I mean, I'm just someone that I got very lucky and sort of fell into something that really works for me. Um, but art can always simply just be a hobby for people. I mean, it helps if it helps, it helps you express yourself and kind of blow off steam after a hard day's work. Then it can be just that, you know, there's, you don't necessarily have to monetize it necessarily. So that would be, that would be what I would have to suggest. And hopefully that could be helpful for some people. Wow. That is awesome. But, and, and I wish I had had you on last month because last month was mental health month. And as mm. a form of therapy and treatment, that is one of the things that they say that helps um, people be able to relieve that stress or to be able to work through the trauma that they've gone through by drawing and, and mm. or coloring. So that is awesome advice. Well, I would want to show you all the picture. We do have it actually the picture. Um, y'all, uh, let me turn my camera off here. Let me see. Um, we'll get the picture up right there. I thought I had it up right, but um, it didn't come in clearly, but we'll get the picture up right there of uh, Faces with Frankie. Well, I again want to thank you Thanks for watching Let's Talk, Real Talk with Dr. Gigi, the television show dedicated to real life issues both in and out of the church. We pray today's show was a blessing to you. Join us next week as we strive to bring clarity to life's most challenging subject matter with the goal of healing, educating, and inspiring. So until next week, God bless from the Let's Talk, Real Talk television show with Dr. Gigi.